Plasma is meant to be customized. I think I surprised no one by saying that. And somebody really manages to take that very far. And I'm always very impressed. In fact, I always tried myself to make the most out of Kitty Plasma. And I even posted some of my own configurations to Unix Porn. So what I'm going to do today is go there and take some of the prettiest, wildest customizations of Kitty Plasma, show it to you, tell you a bit about how they are implemented and then of course I will give you some of my own tips though that in a separate video. So this one is just to talk about how nice other setups are. So let's start with the first one which looks like this. And I mean I just love the pixelated look and I was so impressed that KD Plasma could do this. So how is this even implemented? So firstly, there is a custom font that's used, I think, for the clock and for the UI that is very pixelated. The font is called Dogica, Dogica, Dogica. And I mean, you can see how it looks like. Regarding the dock, weirdly enough, it's not the Plasma panel, though it could be, and it's not Latte dock either, even though, again, it could be, but it's Plank, which I never usually see around, but it's basically, you know, just a dock with just, you know, it just does that, it's a dock. The icons are also beautiful, just beautiful, handcrafted by another Redditor who posted them on Reddit. I don't think there are too many of them, but these ones that we do have just looks beautiful. So 10 out of 10. This this is my favorite, favorite one. Wow. And I mean, the wallpaper is also chosen beautifully and it's pixelated. Um, everything just fits together so nicely. I think that's the real point of a customization. It, Everything has to be bold, wild, and still fit together. That's, that's the whole point. This does it. This one also does the trick, and in my opinion, what works really well of this customization are the docks. You can see like five of them around. Sorry, four, four, I cannot count. Four of them around. They are all Latte Dock, sadly, no KD Plasma Panel. And in fact, KD Plasma Panels wouldn't be able to do this, even though, yes, they are floating, my pleasure. They cannot attach to the border as this panel do. So yes, you have to use Latte Dock and you can also recognize it's Latte Dock because the content is casting a shadow on the background, which looks, in my opinion, really nice and it's not something that's implementable in plasma panels. So very impressed. And really, I love the choice of having a left top and right one. Although I'm, I always ask myself in this kind of customizations, how is it gonna look like when you maximize a window? Is the is everything gonna defloat? Does the top one become one single panel, or does you know everything is out height? I don't know. You do also have transparent windows. However, and this is a deal breaker for me, they are not blurred behind them, it's just transparency. If you're curious about how this was achieved, the author nicely gave some dot files, which by the way you can find in the video description. And basically they are the dot configs. And sadly enough, I am not good enough to just go through the configs and understand everything. So I, I tried to get something from the images, but you can just copy paste the files and in theory that should work. It's probably Quantum, a Quantum style. So you probably need Quantum to be installed, but we don't know because the author didn't say so. So anyway, really good, nine out of 10. This is the third one. Basically, we go back to the old classics quite literally. And I mean, what do, <laughs> what should I say about this one? It's impressively done. Like, honestly, if you give it to me, I would never be able to recognize that it is indeed KD Plasma. In fact, I'm looking at... <laughs> Looking at it, I actually have basically no proof that it is actually KD Plasma. Maybe somebody just, I don't know. Dolphin is Dolphin, as we can see, but it doesn't look like Dolphin. But I think we, we can trust the other. So this is just impressive. How was this done? So firstly, the window decorations are apparently actually done by the author of this post. How do I say this? They are called X Boomer. They are actually called X Boomer. The font is Microsoft Sans Serif. The wallpaper, unsurprisingly enough, is Bliss by Microsoft. And impressive, impressively enough, there is also a GTK theme 
that you know ports this look to GTK as well if you are a fan of this for some reason which is called XP Professional. Finally the icons are made by Boomerang Artwork and they are called Windows XP unsurprisingly enough. Which brings me to the next one which is actually one of the most upvoted posts in Unix porn with KD Plasma in it. It's called What Have I Done? And it looks like this. And yes, what have you done? So this looks like uh, Windows, I think. <laughs> so I can immediately recognize the fact that on the bottom left, we have a tiled menu as a widget by Zeran which is an awesome widget, even if you're not trying to replicate KD Plasma. By the way, I've used it for years and it's just good. And then of course we have this style that makes everything looks like Windows 11. And you do also have this fluent-ish look for the Plasma theme. I think it could be a bit more transparent. Windows 10 in the, the last versions was actually quite transparent. Nonetheless, it brings the look home. So what's what's going on here? Do we have details? So the Windows decorations are called Windows K10. The icon pack is Windows icons, unsurprisingly enough. The theme of the application is a QT curve, which is not Quantum. I think it's another um, SVG thingy. I've never actually tried it, to be honest. I think it's an SVG thingy. So. We learn something new every day, I guess. The cursor is called Win8 Cursor, and the wallpaper is obviously the one from Microsoft. Nice, next one. This one is called Closest Proprietary Sheet Copy, and it looks like Windows uh, 11. I mean, I put Windows XP, I put Windows 10, I had to put Windows, Windows 11. And I'm actually quite impressed by this one. Now, the bottom panel does not require a light dock. Actually, you can just do that with a normal plasma panel. You can just use two spacers, it works. I, I've, I've worked on it, actually. The widget is uh, for the start menu is a custom one made just to look like the Windows 11 one. And it's called, it's called, I don't know, I don't know. You can find it on the KD store. I'm such a professional YouTuber. Interestingly enough, the theme for the applications is not something made to look like Windows 11 at all, but rather it's Lightly, which is, uh, I think, the best non-breeze theme out there that actually implements this stuff directly in C++ instead of using some Quantum thingy that actually loads SVGs. So Lightly is a very good theme that you should try out, given the chance, and wow. The Plasma theme is uh, WE10X. I don't think it's the best one for replicating the look of Windows, but we'll get there. The icons are called Windows 11, obviously, obviously. But th that's, that's it. Th that was all the Microsoft stuff that I had to show today. Let's get back to the actual KD Plasma stuff. But I mean, if I talk about the wildest KD Plasma customizations, I have to include being able to just replicate other operating systems like it was nothing. So let's talk about this one. So this looks uh, cool, first of all. The, back the background is, the wallpaper, I mean, is very good. Like, I'm actually impressed. Usually they're like good, but this one is so colorful and vibrant. I, I just love it. You have a normal dock on the bottom. You have tiling, you know, normal stuff actually, k kind of. What really made it for me is that the top panel, as you can see, has all the normal stuff, but each icon is actually, has actually a background color, which is not something that you can find on a normal plasma panel, and something that I didn't know you could implement in, in LatDoc either. So I was like, uh, how? <laughs> what? So I tried to look for the comments, I'm not 100% sure on the explanation that uh, was given there, but if I understood this correctly, it looks like they have a normal KD Plasma panel on top, and then on top of that, they have put one Latte Dock panel for each icon. So all the icons that you see there on the top are actually individual Latte Dock with, uh, you know, a, back, a custom background color, which is quite original. Like when I saw the comment, I was like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. So you have put like 
10 latte dog panels on top. Is that it? So this is wild. This totally classifies as a wild customization. So congrats, congrats, nothing to say. What about this one then? Well, this one I think does uh, a lot of things right. So it's not wild, but it looks so good, like so good. First of all, we have the full screen up menu, but it doesn't look like it's the default one. Yes, it has blur, but all the icons are like big and fill the space of the window. That looks so good. What, what widget is this? It's, it doesn't say it. Oh, come on. Why does nobody say what? Oh yes, here. Okay, so apparently the app launcher is custom and it's not available on the store. It, it, the original poster quite literally just put a Google Drive link to download it. Fair enough, fair enough. Then you have the login screen, which has the Arc logo, Arch logo, Arc, Arch Linux logo. And then, you know, that login screen with name and user, with username and password on the left and just everything else blurred is. This is beautiful. I don't know what else to say. I love this. Can I, can I have this? Then we have this one, which is very bold. And again, what really made me include this one is how this person does panels. So we've got one on the bottom with the normal stuff we could say. So task manager, app launcher, I think, yes. And the system tray. And then we have an extra one on the top. So we have clock and day at the center. On the left, we have activities or virtual desktops. I'm not sure we can tell them apart. And then on the right, we've got CPU, GPU, CPU and power options. So I actually love this double panel um, layout. And then of course, we've got transparent windows with blur, with without blur. No, there's no blur, <laughs> no. Luckily enough, it's very easy to turn on the blur, but um, should be enabled by default. But very sad to see that it's disabled. So how was this done? The plasma style is alpha black. And by the way, this is extremely important. I will actually talk about alpha black a lot in a video dedicated to customizations from like tips from me to customize plasma. And then it uses the papyrus icons, which is a great choice. Like those are very good icons. The application style is indeed Quantum. It's called Sweet Mars. Again, I think uh, turning on blur is just an option in uh, Quantum, or you can use a Kwin script, whatever. And everything else is pretty much Sweet Mars. So I love the style. Finally, we get one with a lot of blur. Finally, finally, it's never enough blur. And I actually remember this when I first saw this and that has inspired me a lot to do like stuff and such. This just looks bit, I mean, c come on, how would you not want this? And the coolest thing, in my opinion, is that Dolphin is customized so that all the toolbar options are on the left instead of the top. And it just looks so cool. So 10 out of 10, this one looks gorgeous just come on the quantum style is a uh, custom made by the author it's called um, akava kv akava kv akava kv and um, yeah i mean go ahead install it it's beautiful last one the last one i found is this one which i think that does colors beautifully like okay blur and is nice and everything but sometimes pastel colors can just do the trick we have a top floating panel which i think is latte yes it is latte but this one could actually be a plasma panel there's nothing special about latte in this case and you've got clock on the right which is the wrong place to put a clock should always be in the center name of the name of the application to the left and possibly also a menu bar to the left and then to the center, the system tray, which is again, the, the wrong place to put the system tray. The system tray, right, clock, center. Gotcha, okay. The application style is yet again, Lightly, which is the same one I've talked for the Windows 11 customization. The launcher is called Albert, the one in the center. It's basically uh, uh, an HUD for everything. It works good enough. Nowadays, KD Plasma have their own with Control alt i I think it's called. It's the good shortcut, but I mean. So now what you're going to tell me is A, which one do you like the most? 
for me, obviously, it's the first one. Although the blue one is also pretty nice. And B, you're gonna tell me what you would like to see if you're into customizations, how, well, like, what specifically would you like to see in a video regarding customizations? Because I'm preparing one. I've got a bunch of stuff put together. This is an intro video. And, you know, I really wanted to ask this question first. What do you want to see in a customization? What do you want to see in a customization video? Let me know.